Joto la kupitishwa kwa msaada wa kifedha wa mwaka 2023-2024 likiwa alijatulia washikadau katika sekta ya hoteli za kitalii wamejitokeza kueleza kutoridhika kwao. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa sekta hiyo Mike Masharia alisema mzigo huo utaelekezwa kwa wateja ambapo utawaadhiri sana kimaisha. Across. So the cost of doing business will go up. Uh, we are still uh, waiting for the final uh, act uh, from uh, from parliament so that we determine how much is it going to affect us Masharia alidokeza pendekezo la kuongeza ushuru wa ziada yani VAT kwa bidhaa za petroli kutoka 8 hadi 16 litaadhiri sana sekta ya kitalii mara msaada wenyewe utakapotiwa sahi na kuwa sheria cost of doing business will increase because I'll give you an example uh fuel uh the vat on fuel they 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 are doing what they are calling harmonizing so uh vat should be stand, standard for every everyone uh and every product so the vat on fuel is going up by 8% so what that means is that uh, you already have a direct cost on transport which is key to our operations because we rely heavily on on transportation of uh, goods uh, people Uh, and services. Waziri wa Utalii, Utamaduni na Biashara wa Kaunti ya Mombasa Mohamed Osman alisema sekta hiyo ilishuhudia kuongezeka kwa shughuli za hoteli za kitalii mwaka jana hali ambayo huenda ikaadhiriwa na nyongeza ya ushuru wa ziada. We have a stakeholders meeting as Mombasa County CC Mombasa County uh, I'm coming up with a, what we call a annual plan for the tourism and uh, it's through that plan that we can able to see how we can help the stakeholders wakati wa makadiria ya bajeti katika majengo ya bunge wiki iliyopita waziri wa fedha Junguna Ndungu alipendekeza kuidhinisha kwa shilingi bilioni 12.5 za kuimarisha nyanja za utamaduni sanaa na maeneo ya kujivinjari it was passed in 2013 uh, and it was frozen by the courts fred rekombua undugu tv